have a bite. Oh, have you. a bite. I just had one, man. Just have a you, bite. Why are you sleeping? I had one. Come here, put this no, in your mouth. No, no chance. Just try it, yeah. No chance. <laughs> you know you want to, you're smiling, look. No chance. Just try it, man. No, I'm waiting for the beer first. I need to have about a dozen beers. I'll put it in the beer. <laughs> like a tequila worm, but yeah. not a tequila. Show me how to do it. Salty. They're salty. And you, you know, your face is all screwed up. No, I'm not so Woo! I'm not gonna rush and do that again. I'm gonna fry the next one. Throw the next one out. <laughs> oh man, that's tough. Woo! Maybe with a bit of garlic butter. Yeah. Tonight. You have them at all jibs. Among the trees. The head here dug deeper, 1,097 meters. Out of the big hole, they took about 14 and a half million carats of diamonds. 14 and a half million carats diamonds? Yes, sir. All to get us 2,702 kilograms. Okay. The building with the green roof, can you see it over there? That is the Beers. It was built in 1888 by Mr. Rosen Partners. It's now 130 years, still used today by the Beers. That very same year of 1888, they found a big diamond. They called it the Beers Diamond. It weighed 428 carats. It's in their vault in London until today. On the far right, can you see the glass building, the tall one? Okay. The one next door, the beach building without windows. That is the HOA, that's for Harry Oppenheimer Sorted House. All the diamonds they find today are kept in that building. Okay, now Harry Oppenheimer is the son of Ernest Oppenheimer. Ernest Oppenheimer came to Kimberley in 1902 when Mr. Rose died. Ernest became the mayor of Kimberley in 1930. In 1929, he became the chairman of the Pierce. Ernest passed away in 57 at the age of 78. That very same year, his son, Harry, became the chairman of both the Pierce and Anglo-America. Anglo-America was established in 1917. Last year, it turned 100 years. Okay. Now, the HOA on the building 74, they found another big diamond in Kimberley. They called the Lady 616 because it weighed 616 carats. It's in their vault in that building till today. It's very dollars. But could it be more than three million? It wasn't for the small, it's too many small cracks. Okay. The water, not the rain water, it's ground. The level is 41 meters. Underneath the water, the bottom rock, right? It's a found down there in the solid blue grounds. A diamond formation happened from, uh, the, from, from graphite. When graphite is under intense heat, okay, and pressure, it forms into a diamond. Now that happened 215 million years ago. This part in the middle, that is the volcanic pipe, okay, the transportation, okay. Now the pipe happened 90 million years ago. All right. Now they ceased mining here on the 14th of August, 1914 due to the first world war not because there are no diamonds there are still diamonds in the big hole my suggestion you oh here it comes and all of you quickly jump in go look for them i will stand here and see them. what's the water temperature so i'm not sure but i think it's pretty cold so it would be very cold, very cold. Yes, sir. Now, 
Yeah, so but that's you, only sport you want me to see. The, the water, the water level. Is the so 1,097 liters, liters down. Now, the big hole is still caving in. Okay, it's still extending. That side, that's why the Bullfontein Road has been closed. Because it's still caving in. All right, it was closed in 2005. Now, at the back, the street lights. One, two, three, Kimberley. We are the first in Africa to have street lights. They came in 1882, September the 2nd. After us was London to have street lights. Before I was Cleveland in America, 1879 to have street lights. Okay, on the upper level, yeah, there's a thing called the claim system. Okay, a claim was this big, sir. Okay, 30 by 30 k feet. They had 1,600 claims back then. Now all those claims were bought to form the gear. The brothers sold the file for 6,500 pounds to Mr. Rhodes and they left. Okay, their love was farming, not diamonds. On the side, come inside. The small shack, can you see the small shack? The small, all over here were small shacks and tents. If you don't the mind the accommodation. The machine with the wood, they call the diamond sorting machine. In the middle is a surf. Okay. So that's the sluice, really? Yes, sir. So the soil will take a bucket full of sand. All right, they'll pour it. In the middle, the soil will fall through. Okay, the surf, and then will get caught. Okay. The, machine, the white check with the green roof, that is now the office of the mine manager back then. Right. For the whole mine. Yes, sir. It's tiny. That could be bottled. Now before I go further, can you see Kimberly Rock over there? Right there, can you see it? Right. No taking Kimberly. Okay, for they have no diamonds. They've been checked by me. Okay. So I check it for diamonds, I take the rock and I put it next to my ear. And I shake it very well. If I hear nothing, there are no diamonds. Believe. That's good, don't believe me. What they did back then, <laughs> they will crush the rocks uh, for the orange tractor, they call it the crusher, or they'll put the rock in water for some time, it will dissolve and do too much. Okay? Or they'll pour water on the rock in the sun, it's not proper. But all the water takes forever, about 30 years. So John Deere was built in America in the 7th, the hands of the Okay? This one, yes, that was a big wheel. This is now the very first washing machine. Okay, wash their clothing. Oh, this is a washing machine, not a boiler. No, this is a washing machine, is it? Wow. That is a steam engine. It controls the headgear. The headgear was built in London, 1885. Here in the middle, there's a cage. It's for men. 12 on top, at the bottom. Next door is the skip. used to transport it to the left. Alright, now we're gonna go 800 meters to the ground. Before we do that, I want you guys to take pictures. Gentlemen, you pull the John Deere. Ma'am, you with the washing machine. Alright. I'm going to show you something interesting. Okay. Anyone here with heart problem, heart condition, you're all good. Okay. The rule one more time, no crying, no fainting, no screaming, and no running. Okay, so what much you Okay. Okay, you're gonna follow me and trust me. Ready? Yeah. Follow me. It's coming. Okay. Okay. There. Take video. Take video, sir. It's coming. Remember to go down. Go down, baby. Be careful, okay? I'm gonna stand here for safety. Right. Be careful, okay? Whatever They're all good. Why? Yeah, there was an explosion. They call 
stuff, they drill the holes on the ceiling. They use the jackhammer on the ground, okay? They put dynamite in the holes, they light it, it explodes, the rocks fall. They take the rocks by hand or scoop into the wheelbarrow to be crushed. The miners, they work six to six every day for 12 hours for only 16 cents per hour. That 16 cents can be reduced if they didn't find enough diamonds in the stove. Okay, for tunnels, they will throw the holes on the wall like that. Put dynamite, light it, it's close to the tunnel. Okay, now, did you enjoy the explosion? Yes, no we just follow up. Follow me, the side. So we have uh Kimberly, we are a proud city. We are known as the city of first. We are the first in Africa to have power. 1882. We are the first with a tram outside. 887. We are the first with a driving bar, 875, the halfway house. We are the first with a nursing school, 1877. We are the first with a female traffic officer, 1914. The first now in Johannesburg comes from Cuba, a mining school back then. The first new exchange happened in Cuba in 1883, it's now currently in Johannesburg. It's a long list, you can Google it, you can find the Vienna book. Over here, this is Gumtree, came from Australia to hold the structure of the gold mine. It's all something that Gumtree is in South Africa. This pipe behind you, sir, if they were busy mining, which comes in, they would use this pump to turn out the water. The red line is to show the mine is leveled. Okay, yes. Follow me the fur, push the The Sutu, Tswana, Kosa, and the Fur. After came the British, okay? They came with the name Kimberley on the 1st of July 1873. Lord Kimberley came from Britain. They didn't like the name New Rush. He felt it's too vulgar. Four eighths of he couldn't spell it, couldn't pronounce it. So what he did, he took his name Kimberley and gave it to his town. The name Kimberley is 144 years. That table over there, so that table over there, that is the Greek table. So the Greek table, the miners apply coal, water grease, then they would throw the rocks and the diamonds onto the grease. Switch on the machine, it will start to shake. As it shakes, the rock will slip off, but the diamond will continue to stick to the grease. The glass table tells you about the people. Bernie Bernardo, Albert Bates, Mr. Rowe, Star Jameson, how they form the company, and also how they own claims. Now, a diamond formation happens from graphite. When graphite is at intense heat, pressure sir, it forms into a diamond, right? Now, when it comes to the surface, the competition was used to us as the volcanic pipe. When the big was at the volcanic pipe, it showed there was a volcano in Kimberley 19 million years ago. Right. Now, when you're done with the tour, you are allowed to come back into this room to read all this information on the table and on the board for the diamond formation. Okay. Now, we're going to go to the pre show and the board. The pre show, they use the four C's to determine the value of a diamond. Right. This way. Follow me. And carrot. Okay. Color. Color is determined by the pressure and the minerals in the ground. Okay. Now, the clear one is far over the world. They say in the diamond in your ring is likely to be from Northern Cape. Northern Cape is a big producer of diamonds. The pink diamond you find in South Africa, Australia, and Central Africa. In America last year, they sold a pink diamond for $71.5 million. They call the pink star. The pink star weighs 59.60 carats. Okay? It's from Victoria, South Africa. The red diamond found stick in India. Okay, diamonds of all colors first found in India in 1560. After India came Brazil, 1725. After Brazil came Africa, 1866. Okay, the yellow one found in Brazil by 1878. Right here, it came with the one yellow diamond. 1879, Charles Tinkley came from America and he bought us from us okay, for $18,000. It's not currently in the Okay, the Tiffany diamond. The current value of it now is $200 million. 
Okay, the purple line you find in Congo and Russia. Russia currently is not a big producer of diamonds. Okay, the black diamond has no value. The reason being it's difficult to view fast and the black diamond. Okay, light can't go through Clarity, it has to be clean, man. No small cracks. Okay, all the cracks they use the hand glue. But the hand glue and the microscope is passing by. But also these are also used for cutting. Okay. So they also have a Cut, man, this is for you. We have different cuts. We have the princess that played here the heart, Emerald Town, and the same thing. Now man, if Sir Bali will be quite personally. Of right. No, oh, keep it on the low. You still in love with me, but your friends don't know. If you wanted me, you would just say so. And if I were you, I would never let me go. I don't mean no harm. I just miss you on my own. Wedding bells were just alarms. Caution tape around my heart. I miss you when I can't sleep. Or right after coffee, or right when I can't eat. I miss you in my front seat. Still got sand in my sweaters. 